on my 05 Honda Pilot, I got the drive light flashing. So I'm going to hook up my scan tool and see what the deal is. Got my scan tool plugged in. I'm going to go into the Honda section. Okay, pilot. Okay. I'm going to go into control modules, otherwise it takes forever. It scans six million modules. It takes too long. So I'm just going to go to transmission. And read codes. Uh, third pressure switch high. We're going to go to the F2 help. And... Transmission fluid pressure switch B, third clutch, circuit high, possible failures, control line open, switch stuck off. So now to go below and investigate. So if you go on the driver's side front of the vehicle, down below, I got the wheel turned. And... You can see right here this plastic cover. There it is. This layer here is your connector for your third pressure switch. So I'm going to go probably from the front underneath and unplug that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, got it unplugged. There's your connector. It looks nice and clean. I don't see any corrosion. Um, this is just one wire on this guy. Can't really tell, but uh, there's just one pin on the connector. Back at the front of the vehicle, uh, this is the sensor right there. Yes, there you go. Um, so I got, I just got a 7 8 deep socket, and that's what was closest, so that's just what I'm going to use. I'm sure it's metric, but nobody will die. So I just crack this loose. I got a drain pan underneath, just in case we lose any fluid. I don't know if we will. So just get that on there. Oh, it's already loose. And... Just unthread it. Of course, you can only see my hand, so I don't know what good it's doing you, but it's coming out really easy. Oh, ooh. look at that. We are losing fluid. Okay, I'm going to go get that out of there. Got it out. And you can see the hole where it was. And that's about it. Not too exciting. So I got the old switch out, and I don't know, it's old, and there's the new one. It's not exactly the same size, the connector's a little longer, um, but I'm sure that won't matter as long as the thread's the same, and the uh, pressure is the same, but this is the Honda part number. This is a genuine Honda part, and that's the part number they gave me for the third pressure switch. So I'm going to put this new one in and see what happens. Okay, I got my uh, new sensor or switch in there, tightened it, and got the connector on. I'm gonna have to test drive this thing and see if the problem goes away. So after I cleared the codes and drove for a little while, I my problem's gone, so hopefully that uh, fixes it long term. Uh, another thing I should mention is I only lost a few drops of transmission fluid, so you probably won't even have to worry about topping it back off. But anyway, hopefully this helps somebody out.